Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to episode 274 of my play, Pillars of Eternity! I'm Anatopia, and... Ah, uh, quick run now what happened. We rescued them, then she cut her throat. She's apparently from a fanatic group who's got another army coming. She's supposed to come back and call the army off if she did a job by pushing these guys away who I just kind of slaughtered. And now there's a big bang, and the other delegates are waiting there. As we're going to find out what's going on, so let's head out. <laughs> I'm thinking someone's finding the cannons. Either that or someone else has showed up with even different, bigger cannons. I don't know. So we're going to find out now. Uh, during combat, an arrow moving out of one character selection circle into another indicates melee engagement. The engagement character attempts to move away while the arrow is active. They will instantly be targeted by a disengagement attack. Nice. So what's out here? Holy sugar, what's that? Oh, they're the things I saw in a dream. Wasn't it? In my that vision. They were creating them. Hi, uh... uh Eyeless. Ah, oh, there's the Eyeless Army they talked about. So, if I didn't kill these, if there was a way to get in without killing them, we might have been able to... They're probably fighting these now. Great! <laughs> what good's a fort that can't keep those things out? Ow! Oh, just kicked her. Okay, let me. I like to kill these. And let me turn to a good old bad wolf. And if you don't mind, uh, would you mind mm, catching him with that? Trying to catch all of us. I kind of wish they were together right now, but hey, what you gonna do? Uh, Soon as he gets attacked. <laughs> okay, we can't separate right now. Just guys, focus on him. So if can take a little bit of beating, right? Oh, maybe she smacks like that. She can't. Um. So what do you? You butt over it. Oh, no, don't. It's, it's okay. I have to get you butt over here because they'll chase you. Everyone else, attack that. So until we get a little closer so he can heal you with everybody else. Oh, 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 oh! It's a little nasty. Um, did you ever send that off? I don't know. Send off on him. Not good. Okay, we can need a big bad heal. Big bad be cool bugs. Yo, oh, get some endurance. <laughs> Just rest to get some endurance. You're not even helping us realise. Get over here! Run around! And... Finishing blow! Nice, see? That's what you need to do. Oh, sugar! Deplete. Quest complete, the Iron Flail. Hello! As the last uh, mega flog falls, a tide of essence sweeps through the ether. It washes over you, and you find yourself in the memories of the eyeless. Of course we did. Of course I did. The hokey creatures surrounded you. There. Was that sinew wrapped skeletons clanging and screeching in this semi darkness? Their bodies fill the air with a tang of metal and their musk of sweat. The cavern in which you stand. It looks like a cavern, anyway. <laughs> in the cavern in which you stand. Well, at least it looks like a cavern. The cavern in which you stand. Get back to happiness. Uh, anyway, it glows with a dim ab ab abundant. Basically, there's a lot of light around us. Ambulant light still flashes as the eyeless shift and stir. They stamp, stomp, stamp, stamp their feet and groan in rasping metallic voices. Their restless energy prickled at the back of your neck. This reminds me for some reason of, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, I did the, the game, there was, there was a trilogy I did on my channel. The Banner Saga. A little bit. You know, with them coming to attack us. I forgot what it's called in that game. You know, the big giant things. 
It reminds me of that a little type of thing for some reason. And in the echoing rumble, you hear something familiar. It's the pounding noise from your dream, the harboring of a terrible army. You begin to wonder how many eyeless are crowded around you. You suspect there must be scores of them, maybe more. It's difficult to tell how far back this chamber goes or where it is. I can remember. Ahead, you see a glint of light. It might be in an exit. Already, however, the vision is starting to fade. Explore further into the chamber. Investigate the glint of light. Hmm. Actually, scores of them, maybe more. It's difficult to tell far back. The light might be an exit already. Don't want to leave. Further into the chamber. You push past the lumbering eyeless, cling to the will the wilting sh shreds of the vision the cavern broadens before you it swirls holy fudge it swirls with echoes until you hear the growling grinding sound of the eyeless all around you pull yourself onto a glowing crystalline outcropping and survey the expanse of blunt heads and piston arms there aren't scores of them there are hundreds the vision ends returning you to the frozen and bloody churned mud of the fort if only Galvino could see those. <laughs> He'd die of envy. Yeah. Not crushing. <laughs> yeah, but they would crush him. Okay. Ready when you are. New crash rising tide. Holy fudge. Survive the ambush. Confront the commander. We did all that. Um. The villagers start with our concern. I guess we had to go tell them what happened. For the commander of the Iron Flat, and eventually a fellow watcher with his death, the remnant's threat to start has been eliminated. However, the true enemy has surfaced uh, army of towering creatures known as the Eyeless. Find right out uh, how to call the army. Forge has been restored thanks to your efforts in the White Forge. The Abbey of the Fallen Moon may hold the key to stopping the army. I have seen in my dreams travel to Abbey in the Fallen Moon. Where is the Abbey in the Fallen Moon? Time for. That's where I am. Ah, that's where we need to go. Okay. I guess we should go up with Star and tell them what's going on. Ready when you are. Uh. Should probably rest. Oh, maybe I should tell the Del that it's safe. Uh. That'd be fine. Let me rest. <laughs> oh. How many doors on my wood life? I thought it was. Ready when you are. Let me tell the Del Mats. Before we leave. You know, they're like, you know, 20 years later, we can we leave yet? We'll go back to this town, tell them what's going on, and then we'll head over to the, the Abbey, I guess. Guys. What are you doing? Eat your body? I don't want to suffer a night. God's the size of it. Oh, you saw. We, we'll head to Starlet right away. Okay, good. God's the size of them. Yep, they saw. Okay, we'll head to stall ourselves. Tell us what's going on before we head off. I think that's what we need to do right now. Cyphers focus the power abilities and gain additional focus by causing damage with weapons. While their soul whip is active, so whip turns off once the cipher focus is full. Gate, grave set. Oh, what are the rest of that, the graveside people? I guess we can speed this up a little bit. What's this about? Uh, returns to Shango with an item spray and item spoils a weight in the Great Hall treasure chest. Oh, nice. I had still there for three days, fudge. Come on, Ed, you've been gone forever. See if these guys are still here. Oh, did we miss that? What was that? We did. No dig on. Does that make sense? Okay, they go to Stolen Village initially. I'll have a little chat with them. Tell them like, what's going on. And we'll head up toward. And we could also buy some more wood while we're there, hopefully. And We've already rested, we can buy some wards, make sure we have four. And then we can head to this location. 
All attacks are resisted by one of four defences, Deflection, Fortune, Reflect or Will. Enemy is powerful against one type, try and attack that target's, I guess, a different attack. Gonna lose her place at the temple if she can't control her temper. So it's the inn, isn't it? I think this is the inn. Hope this is the end. No, I'm gonna run better than. Hope this is the end. <laughs> hey, buddy. Back to warm your hands, eh? What I like I it now. Hi, right now. Let me see the refreshments. Nothing like a pipe. So, want a bit of wood, please? Oh, it's on the side, isn't it? Thank you. Well, I can't have that many because he won't let me take them. I'll take your sticks too. You lucky picks. Hmm. Yeah, no. Oh, red four. Oh, okay. I thought it didn't go across. I must have just glitched slightly. Okay. So I forgot who actually really sent me on this quest when I got here. Because the 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 old mayor was the house next to this place. I don't know if we can go there and talk to him still. Unless I just head up to the thingy. This place wasn't there, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, it could be you. So you're back. What can I do for you? No, it's not you. Nothing. Oh, you're the bounty dude. You're the bounty dude. Well, damage, but it can greatly reduce it. Huh. We can completely eliminate, but greatly reduce it. Nice. Na -na 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 -na. What's on your mind? When did you retire? First reception. Okay, so she's retired, so it's not you. Who sent me for the quest again? I want to talk to them quickly. Is she retired? Captain Kane, quick, uh, can you use quick items to switch between weapons set during combat? Is there anything like on this map? Communication, Hobbins, Tratamas, Springs, Fishery. Maybe I should just go to it then. Travel to Arbor on the Fall of Moon. Investigate the fort. Rest beyond the boundaries of the White March. Seek information about the army. In my dream, the army, the march, and the star work, perhaps. Oh, was it just keep thinking of my dream? Just part of the march and rest in time, so I should begin to mend. Rest be unmeldly. Star work may house my army, I seek. The fort was built by Raskins with interest in capturing Doran's battery. Group of delegates. Okay, apparently I'm just going to go there myself. So delegates sent the posture. Okay, I guess we're just going to head straight there then. Because we didn't mean to come back then. I just came from this one. There it is. Okay, to the Abbey of the Fallen Moon. 17 hours. I guess we'll do it. Get a walking boot on. Some of the people you meet and fight in the world can be taken prisoner and held in your stronghold. So far I think that's been two. I've released one by mistake. One I did on purpose. <laughs> okay, the rising tide. Oh yeah, we've got to pretend we're one of them. We're one of you! Hi. A dwarf clothed, clothed in but a few straps of fur puffs up his bar chest with every drag from his pipe. Come along, way to get some air, have you? 
What are you doing here? I'm looking to get inside. What are you doing here? Enjoying the fine weather, just a bit longer, he smiles, letting a cloud of smoke and frosted breath escape through his teeth. My mistress, mistress, had business with the Erdans. We'll be off, soon as she's done at the Abbey. Is the person we killed? The Abbey, is that where we came from, or is she up there? Meantime, I was told to stay put. They don't want any outsiders me meeting, meddling about. She already put some kind of hex on me. Says I won't even remember any of this, but a cup is worth it. She says I'll wake up at home with a full coin, 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 words, coin purse opposite of most of my morning, so that had a certain appeal. Tell me about your mistress. Which one? <laughs> Which one? He lets out a chuckle and slaps his chest. A reddening print blooms on his skin. Wish she were the fun kind. She's a gift bearer. Paid me well to guard her on the journey, though. Looking to get inside. Are you now? He pulls the pipe away from his clenched teeth and points his long stern to the path ahead. Far as I know, straight this way. The middle path on the right with the ruined arch if they let you in. So what? The middle path on the right with the ruined arch. Let you in. Of course, Ardent are non too friendly, but to their own. My mistress went through the archway, spoke to some guards there, then headed on. He bites down his pipe with a sour expression. They got eyes on the other paths, cast me dirty looks from afar when they passed that this way, he grunts. As if I'll stand here in plain view if I had some grand design of sneaking into their blazing church. And what's an abbey got that's worth hiding anyway, monks? He grunts again and shakes his head and mutters something about if he were younger. Do you know any other ways in the abbey? No. Nope. But it's an abbey, not a fortress. You can bet it's got holes like a fat old monster. S uh, supply passages, escape routes. He shrugs as if it were a matter of if this were a matter of course. I'd be lying. I said I've never explored one uninvited uh, when I was too young to know better. Help myself to its relics. Let's just say it's a certain war goddess has her way. I'll be living my next life as a Dungro bug. Why are you helping me? He shrugs. You got a look about you. Look like you needed it. And maybe there's something I don't like about this place. Like it's hiding something. My younger days. There'd be more going in there. I'll be more going. Farewell. Th that we meet again. Any luck? My mistress will return soon. Hope you find what you're looking for. Wow. Well. That is well guarded. Monks they will have to deep with the other way. slip past. To an emotionally escort, to a uh, gift bearer, he believes there are several ways inside the abbey. He said the mistress spoke with some guards beneath a broken archway. Who will let him through? Who let her through? So basically, I need to try that first. If that fails, we'll, we'll, uh, we, don't, we don't want any trouble. And then try and find another route in. If that fails, we go in all but kicking. And with that being said, we're at 18 minutes. We're going to end this episode here. So please like, please subscribe as I save the game. And tune in next time as we try to get this abbey. Have a great wonderful day. I've been Aftopic. You've been awesome. Thank you very much. Bye.